Hello, amigos. I am checking in. It is Friday 22. We just have a few more days before Christmas came to the nail bar. They let us out like at 2 o'clock today. So went ahead and took advantage. I was in dire need of a petty. Went ahead and got a mani. So I have my little um, color. This is called Under the Mistletoe by OPI. I just thought it'd be fun and festive. Have my little Hello Kitty, my Hola Gatita sweater. Everybody was like, oh, that sweater is so cute. Just kind of fun for today. So I'm going to head home. My husband was actually getting home when I was leaving. And then, um, so I don't know what we got going on today, but probably need to go get some dinner. And then I know we have to get the house ready because we are entertaining. His siblings are coming over um, on, um, his siblings are coming over on Sunday. So I need to get some Christmas cookies done and then just put out the rest of, I guess the rest of the little decor that I need to do because I brought all this stuff down and I really never really put it up. And at this point, you kind of feel like, yeah, pa' it. I just should just take it back upstairs and the tree is, the tree will do, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's see what adventures we, let's see what excursion we go on when I get home and I will check back in with you guys later. I hope y'all are having a really great day. <music> They're feeding, they're feeding, they're eating the food we left them. Look at go, they're playing. Mira. Amigos, bienvenidos. Welcome back to day 22, el 22 de diciembre. Can you believe it? I hope you'll have had a wonderful week. We are now in preparation for the weekend. Now, just three days away from Christmas, from La Navidad, from El Niño Jesus arriving. I need to take out my baby Jesus that my grandmother gave me. And my husband and I went to dinner and then we went to the grocery store to go ahead and get some things now before it gets crazy tomorrow. So tonight we're gonna start working on like my prize winning um, cookies as he calls them. And then just like like some snacks, like some sweet things to um, have for um, his siblings that are coming over. And so yeah, that's gonna be um, my evening and most of the day tomorrow, just getting the house ready. And then, you know, we're frying a turkey. We have an air fryer um, for the turkey. So we cook it outside. So we did that for Thanksgiving since it was just him and I. And so it was just, you know, nice to have a small little bird. So we'll see how this one comes out. But yeah, so we are already in preparaciones. We're getting ready. I hope y'all are um, getting ready. And I'm sure y'all are just as busy as well. So still catching up on my videos but they will get out there and um this way you can see some little gifts here and there that i received as well or that i've um, purchased for myself this way i can just kind of share them with you just some fun little things that i added into you know my collection and just some fun things that i actually had on my wish list and a couple of them actually came true so looking forward to sharing those items with you today's going to be just one of those evenings where i can go ahead and start my baking play hopefully some linda etter she is my absolute favorite broadway um star so i love playing her um christmas um concert and then or i'll play like her music so that always gets me in the mood for my baking but let's go ahead and find out what is in day 22 of our advent calendar well i find number 22 quick story i had my little candle burning the little carousel candle burning yesterday um all day and so my husband noticed it before he left for an appointment and then when he came back later on in the evening he was like are you burning something else and i said no I said, I still have on the same candle. He says, wow. He goes, that scent lingers like all the way down into the hallway. Because as soon as he walked in through the garage, he was like, that candle is really, really strong. And I said, I can't smell it. I guess because it was burning all day in my office. At that point, I really couldn't um, tell. And unless I walked in and out, then I could actually get the fragrance of it. But being in the office all day, I couldn't smell a thing. But he actually um, really loved it. He's like, this smells amazing. So... That one's a winner, just in case y'all are wondering. Okay, day 22 is in this cute little box. Um, day 22 is in this cute little box with some books here. And today we actually have, ooh, more Kyoto in Bloom. And this one is the um, Camellia and Lotus. And this is actually an Eau de Parfum. 
really really nice i know we got something the other day in the kyoto and bloom again so this one because it's the um actual eau de parfum we actually have the scent of an ambery floral fragrance arresting and spirited camellia lotus pineapple and amber really really nice for the kyoto in bloom which is actually the very first item that we got on day one which was that really beautiful um those stems those fragrance stems that's a really really nice fragrance it smells really um it smells really nice that uh fragrance when i actually go into my um, bedroom i have it on one of the um you know chests in the room so let's see here yeah really nice because of that white floral camellia, the amber in this actually warms it up really, really pretty. This is a really nice um, fragrance that is floral but soft, but it's like a year round fragrance that is really beautiful. The lotus and the amber and camellia, I smell those notes. And because of that pineapple, I think it just balances it out so it's not overly sweet, but it just does something to, um, give the fruitiness like a very very like on the third layer as a base note but the camellia and the amber with the um lotus are absolutely beautiful so this is a really wonderful fragrance the kyoto and bloom whether you prefer it as an eau de parfum like a fragrance or um as a as a home fragrance like in the actual um stems or like the um home fragrance mist like for the room um this one is actually gorgeous really really pretty this one is a winner the kyoto bloom all of them have been really really good in the calendar which is really nice so there hasn't been one at all that i don't like they're all absolutely um wonderful so day 22 done taken care of for today friday december 22nd it's elf time it's time to go over to the christmas tree and pick out a fun little prezi for today so come on with me okay amigos we have a very fun little prezi let's see what we have in here for today this was just a nice fun little um, item that I wanted to um, try out. It went on sale on Black Friday. And my little elf here in the house, he is very tape happy. So it took me a while to get this one open. All right. It's taped really, really good. Te digo. Okay. All right. Today's little prezi is a beauty item from Julep. And I wanted to try this line. I had heard some um, good things about it. And for me, since I find it so much easier when I'm getting ready, especially the days that I have to go into the office, like cream eyeshadows, they have been my absolute favorite things to use. I had heard reviews about this one, but this color actually went on sale during Black Friday. And so I wanted to try it out. And this one is called Mink Mauve. This one is Mink Mauve Metallic. So let's go ahead and try out this color, see how it looks. And comes in this nice little, really pretty, nice um, thickness to this pencil. And, ooh, very pretty. See that color there? Just really, really nice. Again, mink mauve metallic. See that? Very, very pretty color. I love mauve tones. I love mauve bags. I love a mauve colored like eyeshadow. I love a mauve eyeshadow um, cream pencil because I will use it as like a contour or I'll put it all over the bottom lid or I use this as a, um, you know, just like an eyeliner and then at the bottom, I absolutely love these mauve tones just really really fun or i'll use like a dark brown eye pencil along the lash line and then i'll just kind of go over it with like a mauve cream pencil and just something simple just really really quick when i'm gonna do like a quick manita de gato not doing a big extensive like eye makeup look using my eyeshadows or whatever this is just simple really quick to get out the door but just nice and fun so this one's nice and creamy so again julep in the mink mauve metallic this one's my little Prezi for today. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out tomorrow. Thanks again for tuning in and watching the activities and my little um, excursions as my husband calls them. And I hope y'all are all getting ready and um, 
taking time for yourselves and preparing to enjoy this holiday season with your loved ones. So I will see you back here for the next one. Amigos, have a wonderful rest of your day. And again, to all our veterans and all our servicemen and women serving and defending our country around the world, from my military home to yours, thank you so much for your service. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hasta la próxima. This is really good if you are using cranberries. And then the white chocolate chips, you can also leave these out, but you can use the baker's white chocolate, melt it, and then once the cookies are baked, you can dip half of the cookie in the white chocolate, or you can drizzle the white chocolate on top of the cookie once it's baked. That's actually the preferred method, but this is the shortcut to add your white chocolate chips. Enjoy. She hears food. Okay. Little fucking piece. I heard the magic word cookie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 